Good morning, everybody. I'm so glad that you're all here with us. What a fantastic Sunday morning. We have some exciting things to show you, but first, our first exciting thing is this fantastic Alleluia banner. Remember I told you I'd show you a new one each week? Here's this one. Isn't it fantastic? It reminds me of the bright sunshine, which I hope you've all spent a little bit of time getting this week because the sunshine helps us grow. Did you know that? It also gives us vitamins that we need for our bodies. So thank you to the maker of this Alleluia banner. They were with us on show of Tuesday and all our children made Alleluia banners to help us celebrate all throughout the year. So thank you. I'm gonna leave this banner right here today. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now, in today's story, we're gonna backtrack a little bit to what before Jesus was crucified. Take a look at our little city here. Ah, so Jesus does some amazing things with us today. He teaches us a lot of important lessons. Isn't it amazing? Look at that. So there is all of Jesus' friends. Whoop! One ran away, but we're going to bring them back. Here is all of Jesus' amazing friends, and they're all hanging out together. Now when Jesus, we're going to go back to before Jesus was crucified, okay? Okay. Now. Before he was crucified, he had all his friends, the disciples, in the room. This was before he was to return to heaven. He was with his closest followers, the disciples, and Jesus, hello, he wanted to pray with them. Jesus knew that he was leaving his followers behind, but he wanted them to stick together and be faithful even when times were tough, because he knew that the world, the culture, the events, the society all around them, they wouldn't treat his friends very well. They were gonna be downright mean. And he knew that, mean like this. Oh my. Or mean like this. <gasps> Oh my. Jesus wanted his disciples to be focused on him and not what was happening in the world. He wanted them to be in the world, but not of the world. Within a few days, we know that Jesus was going to get arrested. Oh. That he was going to die on the cross. Oh. And his followers were very scared that crowds of people were gonna come after them too and arrest them too. <gasps> that would be very terrifying. Oh no, I'm sure they would want to just hide. I'm gonna hide right now. I don't want that to happen to me. His followers were so scared. Now they promised to be faithful to Jesus and they were, but during this time when he was arrested, they were scared and confused. They all promised that they would follow Jesus, but when it started getting crowded and they had feelings of fear and confusion, they ran and hid. Oh, now you can't see them, they're hiding. <laughs> so much for staying faithful, huh? Oh no. When the pressure came, their faithfulness broke. Oh, I know, that makes me sad too. But let me show you how that works. We're gonna need a few things. So I'm gonna move some of my stuff out of the way here. There we go. Jesus, you can come back with your friends for the moment, even though they're hiding. Sometimes when we're really scared, we like to hide, right? Like maybe under our bed, maybe in a closet. Maybe behind our parents. Yeah, the world can be kind of scary. Sometimes we have bullies. That's not very nice, is it? Mm -mm. Sometimes we might watch the news with our parents and with everything going on in the world, it can be very scary. 
that can shake our faith, make our faith weak. I brought with me, if I could ever get it open, some eggs. See that? Have you ever made eggs before? It can get kind of messy, can't it? If you take an egg, and just to show you these are real, oh! The shells are really fragile, aren't they? They break really easy. I barely touched that one. Look at that mess I made already. Eggs can be really messy. Now, sometimes in our life when we get really scared, we can be fragile like that, right? Right? We can just break like an egg. This is a raw egg, so if I was to drop it, just like holding that other one, what do you think's gonna happen? It's gonna break, right? Because we know that these shells, even though they protect the egg, they're not very strong, are they? Nope. So if I was to take this egg and I hold it up as high as I can and I drop it, what do you think's gonna happen? Ready? Uh-oh. Now we have two broken eggs. Oh, look at this mess. Yuck. That's a big mess, isn't it? <laughs> now, eggs break easily, and they make a big mess just like this. But like these fragile eggs, they can break very easily, just like us, can't they? Mm-hmm. So, the harsh reality of the world is that events and the culture around us can cause our faithfulness to break, just like, just like, just, we have a strong egg here, huh? This egg doesn't want to break. It is, uh-oh, I got egg on my nose. Oh. Good thing I brought my Clorox wipes with me. <laughs> I got egg on my face. It can break very easily, make a big mess. That can cause our faithfulness to break. Jesus knew that the world was gonna be a hard place for his followers. <laughs> I see you all laughing about egg on my face. These eggs are pretty fragile, aren't they? See, Jesus wants us to remember that God is always loving and forgiving, even in our harsh, scary world. So when we're way too focused on who we are and what's happening in this world, we can forget about our faithfulness to Jesus, and we can let our faith become fragile like these eggs. Think about it. Why do you think Jesus here why do you think Jesus wants us to keep our focus on him rather than what's going on in the world? He loves us very much, right? I do. I love you very much. <laughs> what do you think it means to be in the world and not of the world? Ooh, that's a tough one, isn't it? See, our disciples, they were hiding. They knew that they had to be in the world and but they should have been of the world and not hiding. Their faithfulness was shook. Being in the world and not of the world, that means that we're not tied to what the world around us says is important. There can be a lot of things that the world says is important, right? So take a look at Jesus' followers there. The Bible gives us great advice on how to faithfully follow Jesus. It tells us that Jesus is our rock it tells us that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And this is all good advice, but if we don't follow it, we're going to be just as fragile as an egg. Now, God gives us strength and power to be faithful to Jesus. So that when Jesus comes into our life, like he did with his disciples, we can be strong. I want to show you another trick. I am so confident that this trick is going to work. I'm going to move my mess. Ew. What a big mess that is. God wants us to be faithful to him. And we know that we can have that strength with God. 
So I'll show you how we can keep our faith strong. If we put the egg in the palm of our hand like this, and we wrap our fingers around it like this, no matter how hard you squeeze, that egg will never break. It won't. You can try this at home, but only with your parents' permission. Okay? So, I see Elena, Lucy, Adine, I see you all watching. Do not do this without your parents' permission. But if you take the egg and you put it right here in the palm of your hand, like mine, and you wrap your fingers around it, like God wraps his loving care around us, and you squeeze, you can squeeze and squeeze and squeeze until you're red in the face. Look, I am squeezing really hard. Oh, muscles. But it will never break. Not, not once. No matter how hard you squeeze, you could be the strongest person in the world, you're not gonna break that egg. But if I take that egg, and I forget that God loves me, and that I'm following God, and I forget to follow him, and I start following other things, that egg, just to prove to you, is gonna break. Oh, there's egg all over me again. But if we hold that egg in the palm of our hand and squeeze, and just to prove to you, this egg is also real. Are you ready? Ah, ah, oh. ew, can you see all that egg? It's a real egg. But if we hold strong in God's faith, it will never break. Never, not when we hold on. So I want you all to remember that and try the little egg. Remember, in the palm of your hand, I'm gonna get some more wipes because I am just covered in egg again. Oh my goodness, what a big mess. Woo! Oh, it's all over my clothes. It's all over me. There's just egg everywhere. You don't believe me? Here's my egg a mess. Woo! <laughs> Caught it before it could spill. Now that's a fun way to show how we can be strong in our faith. <laughs> I see you all giggling. So what was once weak, like an eggshell, can be strong when we believe in God. But how do we get stronger in our faith when so many bad things are happening in the world, right? How do we get that strength? Mm. Let me share with you a few of those secrets. One is, we're going to have to read our Bible. Because we know that in our Bible, it tells us all the wonderful things that God has done for us, but also that Jesus has done for us. So we don't have to hide. We can have our faith right there. Another way is by praying. Do you know that God is available to you? 24 7 which means every single day all the time every hour you know sometimes our parents get really busy right and they don't always have the time to talk to us when we want to talk but our Heavenly Father is always there anytime we need him always listening he loves you that much so what was once weak like an eggshell can be strong in the right hands. And when we place ourselves in God's hands all day, every day, everywhere we go, no matter what's happening in the world around us, or no matter how scary that world might seem, our faith can grow strong too. So with God's help, we can keep our faith strong and our focus on him. That's one tough egg. I know you're some tough eggs too. You are all so very strong. And things in our world are changing almost on a daily basis, it seems. Like now restrictions have lightened up, but we're still not able to meet at the church safely. And that's okay. We still miss you so much. And it is a little strange to be down here all by myself, but I'm glad that we can meet here online. So when you go out in public and you see people with their masks on, don't be afraid. <laughs> because they're probably smiling underneath. 
I wish that we could all be back together, but until we are, I'll meet you here each Monday or each Sunday morning, okay? And make sure you grow that faith, right? Keep your faith strong. You can do that by attending the church services online, but diving into your Bible and praying to God are the best ways to do that. Take time to learn more about him. He loves you very much. That's all I have for you this Sunday. I will see you all next week. Bye. Stay strong.